Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi, welcome back to Mila Sikumbang Today's lesson is Talking about reading Section So I would like to read the story The six famous Storytelling The first one is The Goose with the Golden Egg Once upon a time A man and his wife had the good fortune To have a goose which laid a golden egg every day. Lucky though they were, they soon began to think they were not getting rich fast enough. They imagined that if the goose must be able to lay golden eggs, its insides must be made of gold. And they thought that if they could get all the precious metal at once, they would get mighty rich very soon. So, the man and his wife decided to kill the bird. However, upon cutting the goose open, they were shocked to find that its innards were like that of any other goose. So, more here, uh, you have to think before you act. The second is the ant and the dove. One hot day, an ant was searching for some water. After walking around for some time, she came to a spring. To reach the spring, she had to climb up a blade of grass. While making her way up, she slipped and fell into the water. She could have drowned if a dove up a nearby tree there or had not seen her. Seeing that the air was in trouble, the dove quickly plucked off a leaf and dropped it into the water near the struggling end. The end moved towards the leaf and climbed up there. Soon, it carried her safely to dry ground. Just at that time, a hunter nearby was throwing out his net towards the dove, hoping to trap it. Guessing what he was about to do, the ant quickly bit him on the heel. Feeling the pain, the hunter dropped his net. The dove was quick to fly away to safety. So the moral is help each other. So the dove and and help each other, right? It's really nice. Number three, the ant and the grasshopper. In a field one summer's day, a grasshopper was hopping about, chirping and singing to its heart's content. An ant passed by, bearing along with great effort an ear of corn he was taking to the nest. Why not come and chat with me? asked the grasshopper. I'm helping to lay up food for the winter, said the ant, and recommend you to do the same. Why bother about the winter? asked the grasshopper. We have got plenty of food at present, the grasshopper continued. But the air went on its way and continued its toil. When the winter came, the grasshopper found itself dying of hunger. While it saw the end disturbing, distributing every day corn and grain from the stores they had collected in the summer then the grasshopper understood so you can see from the moral is work today and you can reap the benefits tomorrow okay so let's move to number four the cows and the lion there was a village near a jungle the village cows used to go up to the jungle in search of food in the forest, there lived a wicked lion. He used to kill a cow now and then and eat her. This was happening for quite some time. The cows were frightened. One day, all the cows held a meeting. An old cow said, Listen, everybody, the lion eats one of the us only because we go into the jungle separately. From now on, we will all be together. From then on, all the cows went into the jungle in a herd. When they heard or saw the lion 
all of them unitedly moo and chats him away. Moral here is, together, problem will be solved. Number five, the lion and the mouse. Once when a lion, the king of the jungle was asleep, a little mouse began running up and down on him. This soon awaked the lion, who placed his huge paw on the mouse and opened his big jaws to sh swallow him. Pardon, O oh king, cried the little mouse. Forgive me this time. I shall never repeat it, and I shall never forget your kindness. And who knows, I may be able to do you a good turn one of these days. The lion was so tickled by the idea of the mouse being able to help him that he lifted his paw and let him go. Some time later, a few hunters captured the lion and tied him to a tree. After that, they went in search of a wagon to take him to the zoo. Just then, the little mouse happened to pass by. On seeing the lion's plight, he ran up to him and grinded away the ropes that bound him, the king of the jungle. Was I not right? said the little mouse, very happy to help the lion. Moral, do right, you will get good results. The last one is the fox and the grape. One afternoon, a fox was walking through the forest and spotted a bunch of grapes hanging from over a lofty branch. Just the thing to quench my thirst, quoted the fox. Taking a few steps back, the fox jumped and just missed the hanging grapes. Again, the fox took a few passes back and tried to reach them but still failed. Finally, giving up, the fox said, They're probably sore anyway, and they proceeded to walk away. And you know, the moral in this story is, it's easy to despise what you cannot have, right? Okay, so... I think that's all for the storytelling and all of them uh, are past ten and also past continuous and when the actor says something they use present tense, right? So I think that's all because uh, you can get some moral say to here and thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.